here with Elliot Rogers today at the gallery Lucid in Austin, Texas. Um, Jonathan Garza and we're doing a little interview. Um, tell us about uh, this new exhibit. Uh, you just had the opening. How uh, did it go? Um, it went really well. Um, a lot of people showed up. At least a, at least a hundred, which is a decent amount for, for this kind of space. Um, a lot of artist friends showed up, which is cool. Um, yeah, support from the homies. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, definitely. And uh, how uh, how would you describe this new body of work? Uh, how long have you been working on it? Um, so I've been working on most of it for the past like two years or so. Um, uh, like one to two, one, one to two years. Um, it's like, I, I would s describe it as like s surreal, uh, 3D abstract, um, okay. psychedelic. Uh, You're definitely a little psychedelic. I can yeah. definitely see the 3D. Um, how long uh, does it take you to complete a typical piece? I mean, they're so detailed. Um, well, the, it, it's usually, uh, usually I have multiple pieces going at the same time, so it's like stretched out over months. Okay. Um, so, but like in a typical piece, um, I guess like lately I've been doing more like 50 to like 120 at, at least hours. Wow, that's crazy. Some of them, yeah. Do you, where do you work at? Do you work out of a house or? Yeah, I work at home, just at my house. Okay, awesome. And you, where do you live? In Austin? Or? Yeah, I live in Austin, like really close to the gallery here. Okay, awesome. I like this part of town. Yeah. Awesome. Um, cool. What do you think you, or what are you trying to convey with your work? Um, I, I guess I'm trying to convey, um, uh, other aspects of the infinite universe, um, just, uh, other possibilities in terms of, like, uh, other worlds or experiences or, um, just, uh, various ideas uh, that are, I feel like they're kind of detached from this physical reality, but t to me, like, maybe they could be, like, representations of other possible, like, alternate realities. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, the name of the show is Mindscapes. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the new the new work with the layering is really interesting. And so, do you layer it or do you paint each like you know you use color to describe those layers? Yeah. So I, I, I use color to describe it. So like on on this piece, you can see there's like a layered imagery. You have the architecture, and then this like foreground figure is kind of like a ghost image, and it's supposed to be like translucent and kind of hard to see um, but I just like differentiated that through using different um, different values of the color so lighter colors where the figure is and slightly darker colors everywhere else so okay um, interesting that's awesome it's a really incredible yeah. piece Thank it's you. Good to see you've seen you grow over the last couple of years. Yeah. Thank you. Um, what are some of your biggest opportunities and challenges uh, in creating uh, these new bodies of work and as being an artist? Well, the biggest challenge I would say is just being able to like, like maintain, pay rent, and buy all the supplies, and still have the time to like make the work. It's, it's kind of hard to find that balance sometimes between doing my personal work and then like working for other people and just been kind of like barely getting by and 
Um, it's just like challenging j just because, uh, I don't know. Limitations of being human. Limitations, yeah. There's only so much you can do in like so much time. And like I'm trying to like pursue all these like artistic visions and simultaneously pursue like musical visions, like work on a music career. And then at the same time, also have the time to like like do other work to pay rent and stuff so that I can actually survive and like I just wish that I could just have like like every day fully to myself to just create constantly um, so. yeah wow. uh, and then for the music do you where do you play at? What uh, what type of instruments do you play, or how does that work? Um, so I well I play all kinds of instruments like uh, piano, bass, guitar, um, cello a little bit, uh, um, but I I mostly do uh, electronic music production um, and composition. So like creating music on the computer. Um, with synthesizers and um, so I've just been working on like learning how to produce and like get all those ideas into a, f a format that hopefully sounds professional and and I've been like working on compiling an album uh, which hopefully I'll be able to finish in the next few months and release and then maybe I could start like Wow. So yeah. like so you're gonna have your first DJing. album done? Yeah, I'm gonna I have at least an hour's worth of music that it all just needs like some finishing touches and And when you play out when you play out uh, in public would you be playing uh, with somebody else or just you? Um well I would do both. Like in this case for the electronic music I would probably do it by myself, kind of like as a DJ slash performance type thing, um, uh, but I also do like band stuff sometimes. So, okay. um, like I play bass guitar a lot. So, um, you ever play that stand up bass I saw at your house? Uh, I played it a, a, a few times. Um, your fretless is pretty, a little different. Pretty, uh, yeah, it's pretty difficult. Um, but uh, that's awesome. And then now. Uh, what about uh, what's our friend uh, War? Do you are you gonna play oh, with War anymore? William, William. Allen Ross. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. I I I'd probably like do some more jam sessions with him. That was the first time um, I saw y'all play. Was together at an event. Yeah, yeah, we played at the the Alt Gallery. That was our first time like performing music together, and we just like jammed like once or twice before that. That was and a fun. That was fun. It, it was good. a fun thing. Yeah, we just like made made something up on the spot, and um, like we've done a few things like that, like uh, at the location B party, the last one, we oh. did like a six hour long jam huh. session with Michael Garfield. Oh and, my god! Uh, six that hours. Was crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, and it was like in the middle of the night, from like twelve <sighs> to six a.m. <laughs> It's a madman experience. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last question. Uh, where do you find your inspiration? Um, I find my inspiration I, 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 everywhere. I mean, like, the universe is inspiring, like, uh, life, uh, science, um, uh, other people's art. I'm, like, really deeply inspired by a lot of. Uh, artists, a lot of painters, and um, also just like internal like visions, like I feel like I've always had these like otherworldly visions and like part of my uh, purpose for like painting this stuff is just trying to figure out what that is for me, like what that means and hearing other people's interpretations of that is like really interesting, gives like an interesting perspective so okay well great thanks for uh talking with us today yeah. i appreciate your time and uh the closing uh event is when it's january 5th
from 6 to 9 p.m. Okay, awesome. Well, I look forward to being here. Yeah. Have a wonderful afternoon, guys.